welcome back. I'm just going to go through this process video of this photo of me in Devon, um, having a scone the wrong way or the Devonshire way, um, which is where you put the cream on first and the jam on top, which is really odd. Uh, so sorry, people from Devon, you will think it's normal and think um, the other way around's wrong. So I accept that. Um, just so going through these papers here, it's got a lot from. Um, it is a Paige Evans collection. I can't remember which one it is, but I absolutely adore this paper with, with the hexagons on um, and wish I had lots more of it. And just going through all different papers to decide what I want as my main background piece. Trying to use more pattern papers as bases rather than card, uh, especially when I've got like a collection like this, a kit. Um, may, probably from hip kit this actually um, because it just get I've got so much pattern paper I need to try and get it through it um, so decide to like this floral background you did see me whip in and out a page map sketch then so this is actually based on a page map sketch I can't remember from when um, if I do find the sketch again I will let you know um, but no I've been having a look at my pile of page maps Printouts I've got here, I can't see it, so I'm not quite sure um, which one it is. Because the one I've got on my pile that says Devon Cream Tea um, is not the sketch that I used, so I don't know which one it was that I actually ended up using. Um, so, yeah, just going through the papers, changed my mind about having a big piece of that blue floral paper, which was where I started with the papers because of my blue top. I decided just to have a, a hint of that as a matte and I love yellow and yellow is a happy colour um, never thought of it that way until it was actually watching Chamel one day she was like yellow is a really happy colour and, and it is it just makes me smile so I try to get yellow on my layouts when I can um, so just trimming the branding strip off this paper all these ones you know the American Crafts ones that have a really nice printed branding strip I do keep them uh, they go in my scraps pile to use because they you know at the end of the day still got a pattern on and they're useful and um, so just going through with those hex skins now and deciding where I want them I think that's where they stay if I remember rightly and getting the papers out of the way to go through the embellishments now I uh, hadn't decided on title uh, as of yet, but I do end up going with that gold. Lovely. Um, makes me think of the Philadelphia outfit, you know, the uh, Philadelphia cream cheese spread, where they go, lovely, and it's just that kind of pose that I'm doing with my with my scone. Lovely. Um, so, yeah, that's why I liked that for the title. I'm using that. And... Oh, this is back before I started sticking everything down. Do my old last thing you do is stick it down. Um, so just starting to stick now. So to get it down and um, decide on my embellishments. Are oh, you going to see me change my hermer? I thought I'd cut this out. Sorry. <laughs> um, the video is really short as it is already. So... I didn't really go nuts editing this one because it's it was only 20 minutes start to finish this whole scrapbook process anyway so normally a fast forward um I cut my videos down to run them by four times four um this one I've only done two, times two because it was only 20 minutes I like my videos being around 10 minutes long so I didn't actually go through too much of the video to cut stuff out so this is probably why I miss my refilling my Herma dot dispenser which is my favorite adhesive to use i have recently got an atg uh, just because it was getting harder and harder to get hold of refills for this during lockdown um because the cheapest place for me to get them was actually as an add-on item at amazon so if you bought something else you can add one in so i kept on adding adding three i think was the most i could order in with anything i ordered from amazon i just got three herma refills and then they put the price up and they only had like three left so i uh, bought an atg instead <laughs> um since then the guy on ebay that sells the atgs uh, not the atgs the herma 
in like packs of 10 for a really reasonable price got them back in stock so i've gone back to Hermer again but both sat on my desk but anyway all that stuck down i'm doing the journaling so that um get the journaling down where i want it and then just embellish around i know what's left of the page then to cover and i don't end up covering the journaling up or putting something where i want the journaling to go and the journaling not quite fitting so if i do the journaling first I know what room I've got left and uh, could still swap those hexagons around if it ends up being too much journaling. Um, so I'm just basically putting on the journaling what I said at the beginning of the video about uh, having the cream tea in Devon uh, as we stopped on our way down to Cornwall. This was actually a trip where we went to Cornwall for 24 hours. <laughs> Uh, we stopped at Minehead on the way down um, the Friday night and then we drove the old road from before they built the A32 carriageway because Mark would always fancy driving it and I knew it was going to be a nightmare and I knew it would take forever but he needs to get out of his system <laughs> so, I let, so I said yeah come on let's do it today um, and it took us forever to get from Minehead to Hale because it's just oh it's such a road it goes through villages you've got people who are not used to having tourists around um out and about and yeah it's just it took so long um so this is the village we stopped in and had this cream had some lunch had a cream tea and then we got back on the road and it's the time when so the 24 hours in cornwall was because I had some clothes delivered to the site we usually stay at um, by accident because the last time I'd ordered from Yours Clothing we were on holiday and I needed some new jeans <laughs> um, and I had it delivered to, to where we usually stay and forgot to change the address when I del when I ordered some new clothes when I was in Great Yarmouth I thought you know what it'd be really handy have some um, more clothes arrive when we get home and had them all to Cornwall so we drove down to Cornwall um, my friends had said they'd collect the parcel and post it up for us but we were like you know what let's go down to Cornwall um, so we got there Saturday morning Saturday afternoon after the drive um, went out for a meal Saturday night drove back so, no it wasn't even Saturday Sunday we drove down on Sunday because we had a puncture and we found somewhere that was about to close to get a new tyre on the Sunday evening um, and so we got to Cornwall on Monday came home Tuesday mad mad okay so I'm going through the stickers here with the Vicky Bootin um, this I think was Wildflower and Honey I think um, so uh, these sticker books are amazing I said it in my last video you get so much in these this one's nearly all used up and also the Let's Wander one's almost used up as well there, there's just so much and the cardstock stickers so they're a decent weight uh, there's so many like little embellishments and big embellishments in them uh, just really great finishing pages off um, so I'm just having to play about with position now those buttons I think were Jen Hadfield um, I haven't ever really used much of her stuff but really loving it um i've got i've bought more recently and really um liking stuff she's doing so definitely a design i'm going to be buying more of um so not much left to go just a few finishing touches with go through the embellishments i'm not quite sure actually i had anything more maybe a few words i think but yeah nearly done now so that's possibly the end of my rambling <laughs> i'm really sorry it's been a bit of a rambly video um but yeah just getting a few finishing touches on it and then we are done i've got a picture of the layout up at the end and i must say as well i didn't realize the camera was crooked so sorry you're not seeing this all straight but thank you for watching have a great day stay safe take care bye, -bye.